you like your positioning in the last 200 or so? Um, I kind of just instinctively made a move at two and just wanted to get in good position, a well, better position. Um, and I felt like I was able to, you know, charge home free of any type of just like elbowing or anything crazy that sometimes seems to happen at last 150. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad with that finish. It seems like you closed the gap on Mora really, really quickly there because she had a little bit of daylight. Did that surprise mm -hmm. you how quickly you were able to cut into that lead? Um, no, I can't say I noticed it that much. I was just worried about getting in front of that pack with that it was in front of me and I knew I knew that I needed to do what I had to, have a quick burst to do that, so I wasn't really worried about the gap at that point. I was just trying to work, make sure I was in striking distance. What do you anticipate the final is going to be like? You've been in a lot of these now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's always different depending on who's in it. You kind of look at the other semifinals, see how everyone runs, see how everyone looks. So um, we'll go home tonight and I'll talk to my coach and we'll see what the plan is. So did you watch the other two semis? Did I did, yeah. I was screaming my head off the Raven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you have any thoughts on any of the other athletes, though? Because, well, Teje seems like she's been taking things out really hard. Any, did you, anything stand out to you from those two races? Um, I feel like they kind of went to form to how everyone's been racing, which is kind of helpful to predict like where everyone will settle when we're all in a race together. Uh, but I feel like everyone's showing up how they know, like they know how, and the final's going to be interesting, yeah. yeah. Do you feel as sharp as you did at USA's? Um, I definitely feel like I had a little more time to tune up a bit. I definitely, you know, wasn't in my best form going into USA's, so, you know, I'm kind of just excited to see where I'm at when I get into this final, yeah. It, does that give you confidence? You weren't at your best form and you passed the thing with 50 to go at USA's? Yeah, but it's still like three weeks ago, so it's kind of like after every race, the, the slate is wiped clean, and you got to start over, and you got to show up on that day. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing up. Why do you think you want in your best form going into that meet in the USA's? Um, I just had like a, a foot thing that was bothering me like the week leading up to it, so um, I just kind of was, I backed off a little bit like the week before, but everything's cool now, so. Yeah, and USA and indoors, you know, you won a bunch of races but didn't run anything crazy fast until, you know, then World Indoors, you blow everyone away. Do you feel like you can make a similar jump? I know you ran pretty fast at USA's, mm -hmm. but can you make a similar jump in the final year? That's always the goal, is to, to show up at these big meets, and that's what we train for year round. And um, my coach has been great at planning and timing and um, just making sure he's guiding me so I can execute on the day. So hopefully that's the goal. All right, thank yeah. you, Audrey. Thank you.